Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, you will be learning how to write the test cases for e-commerce website. End of this video, you will be able to learn the test cases for e-commerce websites such as Amazon, Flipkart, eBay and so on. Moving further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Let us move on and understand what are those test cases which we can write for testing the e-commerce website. The first test cases should be you will be opening the e-commerce site using the browser. That would be your first test case where you will be giving the URL in the browser. The URL can be Amazon.com, Flipkart.com, eBay.com or your e-commerce site URL you should give in the browser. Whenever you are given the URL name, then the application will get loaded into the browser. That is the test cases you should validate as a expected result saying that when the URL been entered in the browser application should get displayed in the browser that is the first test case then the second test case is when the applications get loaded when the e-commerce site applications get loaded then you should also get loaded all the products which is available in that e-commerce sites where you should display all the products in a proper listed manner as per the requirement. That is the second test cases. If you have a hundred products, then you should display all the hundred products in the e-commerce application. If you have 20 products, you should display all 20 products and you should validate all the aspects in terms of displaying of the product. Let's say if your website is having a scroll bar option, then it can display 50 products in one page then you can scroll to the next page then next page onwards that every page will display 50 records or 50 products per page that is again this display of product can be tested in a different way the displaying of the products in the e-commerce site can be tested in a different way based on the requirements provided in your e-commerce site that is the second test case. The third test case is in terms of search functionality. This is very crucial functionality in any e-commerce site. Basically, whenever the customer comes and visit the page, then they will view all the products get displayed on the home page. Now, the customers will be interested on a particular products. They will be interested on the particular product, then they will search that product in the search bar, search functionality and also they may search based on the prices which they are looking whether they are looking on the product which are very low priced or they are looking for the product which are very high priced and also the certain people they look for broad, branded items certain people look for branded items then they will select the appropriate brand when they are searching for the product and also they will also search based on the review rating. They wanted to have products with the review rating is top 5. So hence the search functionality is very important and the search functionality is complex gets increases as you are going to adopt all these search criteria and you should validate for each product or for each search keyword you should validate with all these combination just to ensure that all the, the search parameters are really works as expected. Hence, the third test case is very crucial in the e-commerce site. The fourth test case is the category nav nav navigations. The e-commerce site such as Amazon, Flipkart, then the product will be categorized in a different uh, manner. The mobile category, smartphones category, then you'll have LED TV category, you'll have home products category, then you'll have health category. There are various categories and sub subcategories also will be created just to give a 
good visual expressions to the customer that would be a user friendly displaying of the products as a category and sub category so that navigations of the application in this case e-commerce application would be very good in that case hence you should validate all the categories let's say if you have created 10 categories then you should display all 10 categories again this subcategory if you have each category will have multiple categories then you should ensure that all those categories should be displayed on the e-commerce site otherwise you should lock the defect because it is not displaying as expected as per the requirement that is the fourth important test case then the fifth test case is let's say you you you, you let's say you did the product search and you're able to finalize one product then you click on that when the end user clicks on that product then the particular product page should come when the particular project if, if it comes then it should display all the photographs of the product and all the price details about that product if you have any offers about that product then you should display the those offers as well then you will have a buy button then add cart button then followed by product descriptions related to the product which you have selected and also will also be displayed all the related products which are similar to the product which you have selected so that kind of uh, page it will get display where you should validate each and every section of that product just to ensure that whatever the information which is available for the given product which are clearly displayed in that page in a proper manner without having any issues that is a very important validation you should make when the person selects the individual product that is the fifth test case the sixth test case is once individual page product displays then user is willing to buy that product then you will click on buy now button when he clicks on the buy now button then he should get an option of payment option where your e-commerce sites can give you multiple options for payment it could be cash and delivery it can be EMI option you can pay through credit card you can pay through debit card master card visa card rupee card you can also pay through cashback cards you can also pay through ATM Amazon various options available for payment you you were you should test all these payments should work as expected that means you will be writing very detailed test cases for every of this combination just to ensure that payments options works work payments options works really good that is the test cases you should write and you should test that that is the sixth important test cases for e-commerce site then the sec seventh is hard cart options as in when you start identifying the product and you wanted to add into the cart then all the operation of adding deleting removing right from the cart all the operation should be you should perform then you should all add the test cases to perform different kinds of cart operations such as selecting one product or selecting multiple products or selecting 10 products still you should be able to add those many products into the cart area that is kind of different validations you should make and you should write different test case scenarios or test cases to perform add cart operation then the eighth important test case is user registration before uh, user really tries to buy e-commerce site normally ask for to register it because during registration you will be giving the email ID you will be giving the mobile phone number and you will be giving the shipping address billing address during registration that would help in the later to process the order and process the order using this registered information so you should validate 
all these details username their passwords then email id whether they are given a valid email id or not then whether they are given the right phone number or not or whether they are given the right uh, pin code or not for a given place everything you should clearly define for user registration again the, all these functions which i'm talking about again it is needs to align with your requirement every project will have a different requirement whatever i am discussing in this video is all generic test cases which is mostly common for most of the e-commerce site but you cannot just depends on the these test cases and you write it you should watch your you should read your requirements for your e-commerce site then write the test cases in a appropriate manner i hope you are able to get hold of all the test cases till 1 to 8 let us move on to understand the ninth test case the ninth test case is harder tracking let's say once the end user buys the product then made the payment through online then harder tracking will kick off where order will get packed then order will get shipped then order will be in the delivery mode then there are different workflow of operations it happens then based on your requirements in your e-commerce site then you should write all those test cases in a very detailed and a concise manner this is the ninth test scenario or a test case for e-commerce website the tenth would be again comments and review sections once the product has been delivered if customer wants to give the feedback about that product there are various option is available in the e-commerce site that would help you to provide comments or ratings with 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 scale with all the comments uh, you should test it you should test for the size of the comments limitations of the comments or any use of uh, vulgar language in the comment sections all those things you should test that ensure that your website is a uh, very clean in terms of comment perspective then the 11th is email or messages management see once the order is done all the communications are done with the customer either through the email or the phone messages so that customer will be having a clear idea where my product is what is the status of my product or an order everything will be delivered as a messages to the email or to the mobile phone and you should val validate different types, types of test cases when successful test cases another is failure cases you should uh, 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 verify in a different combination let's say failure cases when uh, in network goes away or when uh, phone number is not reachable situation then how you are going to handle there are various test cases you can deliver but again please watch on the requirements which are provided your product management or product owners then start writing the test cases appropriately for emails or phone messages that is the 11th test case let us move on to the 12th test case for e-commerce site the 12th is performance testing aspect because e-commerce site is going to be accessed by huge population very big users then you should have a high priority by giving high priority on performing the performance testing uh, test cases that would ensure that the your website would be high availability all the time and it can take any load it can take 1 million users it can take 10 million users based on your customer uh, needs your application is always up and running again the requirements again different on every e-commerce site it cannot be common for amazon or it cannot be same as flipkart right every e-commerce site will have their own requirement based on the user consumptions hence please watch on your performance testing requirements then write the test cases appropriately and execute those test cases then the third important test cases especially for e-commerce site is security aspects because the you should look on the user information you should also look on this credit card information because 
your customer will store is user data such as email id phone number then um, you will be inputting the credit card details then this data is very confidential and those are very crucial data and if let's say if someone acts this e-commerce site they can he can get hold of all these information and he can do any damage to the customer hence you should have enough coverage in terms of security aspects so that there is a little room for any loopholes or little room for any hacking the e-commerce site this is the 13th uh, test case for e-commerce site then 14th is payment gateway there are various payment gates available in the market where it depends on which payment gateway is getting integrated with your e-commerce site then you should appropriately test with various combinations of gateways to ensure that if customer picks up any payment gateway still your application should be able to work and able to interact in terms of payment in a more effective and more secured way this is the 14th test case then let us move on to understand the 15th and the last test case for e-commerce site is compatibility testing the compatibility testing is very crucial testing because your e-commerce sites can be accessed by any customers by sitting in anywhere in the world by using any browser they may use chrome they can use firefox they can use safari or they may use edge or internet explorer they can use any of these combinations of browser then you should have the test cases to cover all these combinations to test your e-commerce site i hope you are able to get the all the information related to the 15 important crucial test scenarios or test cases for e-commerce site hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then do click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to, to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care